Hi, and welcome to this video on handling data processing bases in Zoho CRM. In this video, we will look at how you can enable the GDPR compliance settings for your Zoho CRM account, and how you can apply a lawful basis to process the personal data for your data subjects inside Zoho CRM. Let's get started. You know your business best. If you think that you have no dealings with EU residents whatsoever, you can continue to use Zoho CRM as it is without enabling GDPR compliance. However, if your business is established in the EU or if you handle personal data of EU residents, you need to ensure that you abide by all the GDPR regulations while collecting, storing, and processing their data using Zoho CRM. The first thing you need to do is go to Setup, Users and Control, Compliance Settings. In the Compliance Settings page, click Enable GDPR Compliance, and in the pop-up that you see, select the modules that contain personal data in Zoho CRM for which you want to enable GDPR Compliance, and hit Done. You will be taken to the GDPR Compliance Preferences section, where you can further customize the GDPR settings for your organization. We will look at each of these sections in more detail later. Let's go to the Leads module and have a look at this lead, Jack Smith. Notice this section, Data Privacy. Once you enable GDPR compliance in your Zoho CRM account, a separate section called Data Privacy gets added in the Record Details page of the respective modules. Click here, and you can see the data source, fields marked as personal, the data processing basis, and the data subject request for this record. By default, the data processing basis for all the records in the selected module will be automatically updated as not applicable. You can choose and update the lawful basis for this record here. Based on your business requirements and the purpose of data processing, you can choose the most applicable data processing basis from the following options. Legitimate interest, contract, legal obligation, vital interest, public interest, and consent. Select your lawful basis and click Done. You can also update the lawful basis for multiple records in a single shot. Let's take the example of Zilker Inc., a travel agency that takes orders from users online and delivers services like making travel arrangements, booking hotels, etc. Zilker has a contract with their vendors for their services, in which case they can process the vendor's data to fulfill the contract. Zilker can update the data processing basis for all of their vendors as contract. Let's see how this can be done. Let's go to the vendors modules, select a custom view, say EU vendors, select all of the records, and from here select the update data processing basis option. From the drop down, select contract, and we're done. We've now seen how you can update the data processing basis for existing records in your CRM. Here's a quick tip on how you can automate updating the data processing basis for new records that get added to your CRM. Let's take the example of Zilker Inc. and their vendors. Zilker can have a workflow rule to automatically mark the data processing basis for all their vendors from EU as contract. All right, let's go back to the Data Privacy tab in the Record Details page. If you choose Consent as the lawful basis for your record, you can track the status of the consent right here anytime. Consent is one of the six lawful bases to process the personal data of your customers. When none of the other five lawful bases are appropriate and you choose consent, make sure that you take legal precautions while getting consent from your subjects. For instance, even the email that you send out to get consent from your subjects could turn out to be unlawful, so please be careful when you are opting consent as the lawful basis. In Zoho CRM, you can update consent for your subjects in two ways. Manually, say when the consent is obtained through a phone call, and automatically when consent is obtained through the consent form. You can update the consent manually if you ask for consent, say in a follow-up call or in an email conversation. Simply click the Update Manually link that you see here and update the consent information. You can add any remarks optionally update the communication preferences as specified by the data subject, and save. You can also get consent by sending an email with a link to the consent form. 
let us look at how you can get consent through the consent form. The first thing that you need to do is customize the consent form to suit your requirements before you send it. Go to Setup, Users and Control, Compliance Settings, Consent Form. What you see here is the predefined consent form that is readily available in Zoho CRM. Choose your preferred language for this form from the drop-down here. Click this edit icon to customize the leading line to something more personal for your business. Once you're done, remember to click this tick mark and save. Moving on to the communication preferences. You can show or hide these options, email, phone, and survey in your consent form. Notice that you can even edit this description here if you want, or even hide the section completely. Based on what your data subjects choose here, the option to send emails, make calls, or send surveys will be enabled or disabled for the corresponding records. Next comes your consent statement. Here's where you can add a message and ask for the data subject's remarks, if any. Add your privacy statement in this text box, and you can add any additional text here before clicking on the Submit button. Click Preview to check it and save. You can click here to revert to the original or edit the form at any point. Done! So your consent form is ready to be sent. Let's now add this consent form link into your email template. Go to Setup, Customization, Templates, Email. You can simply go to an existing email template and include the link to the form there. Select the text that you want to hyperlink to your consent form. Click on the Add Link icon and choose the Consent Forms link in the pop-up. Select the Consent Form language from the drop-down and click Save. As you can see, the consent form has been included successfully. Now save the template. You can include the consent form link not just in email templates, but even in individual emails that you send to data subjects. Let's go back to our lead, Jack Smith, and try sending the consent form. I'm going to click the Send Consent Form link here and in the email pop-up, choose the template that I just created with the consent form link, and then hit send. Notice that the consent status is automatically moved to waiting, and you can even track when the consent form is sent. So you've sent emails asking for consent to your data subjects. The next thing you need to do is set up a waiting period to get consent in your consent settings. Go to Setup, Users and Control, Compliance Settings, Preferences. Under Consent Settings, specify a waiting period, let's say one month. The consent to the record will be in a waiting period for this one month, after which, if the consent is still not received, all the processing activities related to this record will be locked, and the consent status of this record will be marked as not responded. You can further decide what you want to do with a record when the consent is not available. Say, when the contact hasn't responded to your consent email, or for whom the consent is yet to be sent. You can choose to process data as usual, stop processing data, or restrict certain actions and select which of these actions you'd want to restrict. There is one more way to update the lawful basis or send consent for multiple records at a time. Go to Setup, Users and Control, Compliance Settings, Overview. Here you can see the number of records with the lawful basis marked as not applicable and the number of records with a lawful basis marked as applicable with one of the lawful basis. You can track and update the data processing basis for records from different modules. You can also see charts that display the various consent statuses like pending, waiting, obtained, and not responded. Click Show Records for the pending status and all of the leads with consent status pending will be listed here. Select some or all of these leads and send the consent form to all of them. As you can see, all of the records have now moved from the pending to waiting status. When the data subjects respond to your email and provide their consent, their respective consent status will be obtained, or when the waiting period lapses, the consent status of the respective subjects will be marked as not responded. So there you go. Thanks for watching this video. For more resources on Zoho CRM, please visit www.zoho.com/crm/resources.